Hey guys, it's Iowa here. Going to show you a DE farming tactic for you to use. Uh, real simple. It's all goblins, four earthquake spells, two rage spells, and an uh, arch queen if you need her. You see what uh, Raiders does here is he drops four earthquake spells, opens it up. Uh, we call this the Govi attack, and that's goblins plus Javi equals Govi. Raiders' real name is Javi, so uh, we named it after him, trademark after him, because he's the one that's been doing this for months. Prior to the earthquake spell, he uh, used jump spells. You see there that the uh, earthquake's eight tiles wide. It's eight wall sections wide. So what he's doing now is he's setting the funnel. Uh, much like a war attack, if you're going to set the funnel so your P.E.K.K.A.s or your Valkyries and heroes don't run on you, you need to set a wide funnel with collectors and storages for your goblins. And then he just drops two, two rage spells to get him into the DE drill. Three finger drops all the goblins and just lets him uh, go to work. You see all the, you know, this is a max level Townhouse 10 defensive base. The Teslas are up, Infernos are up, Arch Towers, pretty much everything is maxed on this. And it doesn't matter. He comes in there, drops his goblins and his Arch Queen up top to clean up that drill. Takes 7,000 Dark Elixir. Uh... A lot of times, I know I've been scared barching of, of multi-inferno tar, you know, inferno towers. You don't have to worry about it with this tactic. Uh, and again, I'll show you show you two more uh, replays here. And I asked him to get these for me. He didn't take months. I, this isn't recorded over a month's time. This is, you know, he got these in one day. Uh, he's just doing this back to back, and so you can farm over a hundred thousand elixir per day with your barracks boost. It, it, it's ridiculous. Uh, same thing, drops his Earthquake Spells, opens it up, drops his Clan Castle, lets the Wall Breakers uh, go. He takes a Clan Castle full of Wall Breakers, and then he sets the funnel with his Goblins again. Um, uh, same thing, he's going to drop two Rage Spells to get him in there, and then he's going to have his Arch Queen to back up to take out any of them exterior DE Drill uh, Collectors uh, there. And so he's, he's setting it up top a little more just because he's worried about making sure that the... Uh, that the goblins don't go don't go running on him. Drops his two rage spells here, and then he just you know two finger drops these goblins in, into the core. And and that's the thing about the deployment. Don't just one finger drop them. There's so much DPS, and and the goblins aren't that tough uh, with with expos, infernos, teslas, everything raining down. At least two finger, if not three finger, drop them. And they're just so you can just overwhelm all the defenses and you can get to the collector, uh, the D, or excuse me, the DE uh, storage in time. Uh, and again, you get good incidental loot with this as well. I mean, you're targeting uh, Dark Elixir, but you're going to get plenty of gold and regular Elixir as well. Uh, and so we'll show uh, one last uh, replay and just show you how, how well it works. I mean, this, this storage is guarded by three Expos, the two you know inferno towers and it, it just doesn't matter he drops he's going to drop his earthquake again here open himself all the way up into the core doesn't need the wall breakers this time sets the funnel with the goblins and then he's still got 170 plus left where he's just gonna you know just drop them let him go to work drops his rage spells here just to propel him and then like we've seen three finger drops and goblins just they go in there they they do a lot of damage on the collectors i mean it's it's a cheap way to farm you have to spend a little bit with the earthquake spells but but it's just it's easy and you make lots of loot if you like this video guys please uh, like it subscribe we got more content coming for you uh raiders he's a champ at this uh good job thanks for getting these videos for me